Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning from Asad Yaqub from Lahore, Pakistan. Once again, here I am. It's Sunday and a beautiful morning. And I was just checking my WhatsApp and I received a very good handout from one of my students. Uh, I don't know his name, but actually he sent me the cue cards for January 2019 to April 2019. So I decided to share this handout with you and I'm going to go through some of the topics as well. So these are the cue cards which might help you in your exams which are going to be held in the month of February, March and until April. And obviously they are going to use some old cue cards as well. Let me tell you one thing. Now these cue cards are just a sort of a clue that these type of topics might come. There can be any variation and there can be a chance where you go to take your IELTS test, they ask you some other cue cards. So it's not that 100% it's going to be from here. But these are some cue cards which you need to uh, go through and which you need to prepare. Anyways, there are some topics like describe a person you have seen who is beautiful or handsome. It's getting a little personal, but you have to do it, okay? Well, after that, an intelligent person. Describe an intelligent person that you know. Why not? You can talk about me. <laughs> just joking, just joking, okay? Describe a time when you were cheated or when someone lied to you. Someone did not tell you the complete truth. Now you need to, these are the things at times we don't get any idea about them. We just say, okay, what should I talk about? Who cheated me? Who lied to me? And all that. But you need to furnish something immediately and you have to talk about that. Then talk about an interesting old person you met. I can do that. I met an interesting old person recently. Okay, so it's that. Next, talk about a time when you traveled with an old person. Again, a train journey or an aeroplane journey, any, any journey like that. Describe one of your grandparents' job. That's interesting, okay. My grandfather was a farmer, so I can explain that as well. Food that people eat at special events. Describe a type of food that people eat at special events. Then we have another topic, good news that you heard, received or read on the internet. It can be anything about IELTS, it can be about your result, your IELTS result or your, uh, I mean any, any guess you got or you checked your result, your educational academic result somewhere. So you can associate that there. Describe a subject you did not like when you were at school, but now you find interesting. So these are all the cue card topics which I'm going through for you. Next, we've got describe a time when you showed or taught a young person how to do a thing. Now you need to talk about it. Maybe you taught a young person how to ride the bicycle, how to ride the bike, or you taught somebody how to drive the car. You can talk about that. A person you would like to study or work with. Describe a person you would like to study or work with. Describe something you bought but did not use much. See now these are the topics which should be prepared very well. When I say prepared, prepared does not mean cramming. Prepared does not mean you need to learn it by heart. Preparation means mentally you should be prepared that if they're going to talk about an old person, I will talk about that person. If they're going to say, describe a skill you taught to a young one, I will talk about that incident. This is what sort of preparation is required for this. Then after that, talk about a public facility that improves, influences local life quality. Describe a book you want to write. Now you can say, oh, I don't want to write a book, but there you have to write a book. Uh, talk about a friend or person who recently got success. Describe a person you wanted to be similar to when you were grown up. Like I wanted to be like my daddy. I wanted to be like my uncle like this. Okay. And then we've got some more questions like describe a situation when you did not have enough time. Now, now basically, let me tell you, topics are very simple, very easy, but you need to come up with some ideas. Now, think about it. Describe a situation when you did not have enough time. Now, it was the exam situation when I did not have enough time. I had to complete five tasks and I had only three hours. 
I started writing fast, but then suddenly I went blank and I wanted to complete my test. So there should be something readily available. Then describe the historical period you want to know more about in the past technical topics describe a time when you found something that someone lost i once found a mobile and then i returned that mobile to the person uh, whom it belonged to because he was calling on the same mobile i attended the call and i returned so you need to come up with something like that as well uh, then we've got describe a time and then describe your idea of a perfect home or dream home Describe a place such as a park or sports ground which has developed in your city for the betterment of people. And then there are many other topics I would just like to go through. Things you usually do well. Describe the things. Describe a good law in your country. I told about this already. Describe something you made yourself for your friend or it was handmade. Talk about a skill that takes a long time to learn. Talk about a beautiful city. Describe a family business and some of these topics. So I'm going to share this complete handout with you. You can find this handout in the pinned comment, my own comment. And there it will be pinned comment. And there you can find the link of this handout. And this has got around five pages. Let me tell you, those of you who are preparing uh, to take their exam in February, March, April, they must focus these cue cards for speaking part two. And the preparation means just go through the question and then think about it. Okay, if I have to answer this question, what would I say? How would I answer? Which situation will I elaborate? Which person will I talk about and all that? Okay, so if you like this video, Hit on the like button and let me tell you it's a beautiful, perfect Sunday morning and I'm talking to you from my house, the terrace of my house. I can see beautiful trees in front of me and the birds are chirping in the background as well. Uh, a great hello to all of you. I just want to encourage you to work hard for your IELTS preparation, right? Because this is very, very important. So that's all. If you like this video, hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. I really say a great hello to all the people in Pakistan and Pakistanis all over the world. All the people of India, a great namaste to all of you in India and all over the world. And a very good Satshri call to my friends in Indian Punjab and Indian Punjabis all over the world. And a good morning to Africa, all the people of Africa. Then we've got students in UAE, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and wherever, Canada, America, wherever you watch my videos, a great hello from Asad Yaqub. Take good care of yourselves. And these are the cue cards you need to learn. These are basically the topics you need to master. And I'm sharing this handout with you as well because Asad Yaqub believes sharing is caring.